Welcome back to the channel guys and Merry Christmas! This video may be coming out just slightly after Christmas actually, I don't know, depends on if I get it edited in time. But it's the eve before Christmas Eve. We haven't bought our Christmas turkey yet. I I've been really ill for the last few weeks, there's been all sorts of absolute shit going on in my life at the moment. So videos have been a bit lacking and, you know, Bergman reviews. Yeah, so say no more. That, was, that one was in the back of the pile of stuff I had to edit. That's the last video I possibly had that I could edit to get some content out. So today, we need some turkeys. Um, I'm on a Christmas turkey, <laughs> only joking. This is the new BMW R1300 GS. Remember a little while ago I did that first ride and I promised I was gonna take this on a bit of a trip. Well, this isn't it, chasing turkeys, but I'm gonna be taking this somewhere, a long trip during the Christmas holiday. So I'm thinking of going back down to Cornwall again and trying some pasties, which people, because when we did me and Bruce did that pasty video, a lot of people said, you didn't go to this place, you didn't go to that place, but I may make a revisit to Cornwall to try some pasties on this, just as a long run on this bike. But anyway, that's beside the point. Today I've got to get some past some pasty, some uh, turkeys, I need two turkey crowns. I've got my uh, storage. Unfortunately, being though we didn't give me any panniers on this one, so I've got the storage on the back for my turkeys, and uh, we're going to see what we can find. So, uh, if that sounds of interest, join me aboard the new Truman Trunig 9719 Special Edition BMW R1300 GS, the perfect turkey catcher. So if that sounds of interest, make yourself a cuppa, or maybe some mulled wine, something Christmassy, and I'll see you after the intro. Jopsy, roll it. So the last couple of weeks I've had an absolutely horrendous cold, I'm going to call it a cold. I tested uh, negative for, for Covid but I've been knocked out by this cold. Absolutely awful, whole family's had it and uh, so I've, I've not been able to meet up with Greg, we were going to do a couple of like, Christmas videos, best new bikes of 2024, all of these plans we had but he didn't want to catch my lurgy and who, who can blame him and I was just not in a a fit state to deliver a video. I'm still a bit snotty now, so I don't sound quite right. I'm a little bit uh, filled up with Christmas snot <laughs> and Christmas cheer. But yeah, it's been um, it's been an interesting few weeks, or well, last sort of three weeks or so. I mean, I'm not gonna. There's been some right shit going on in my life at the moment. You know, what with family and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go into it because this channel is about lifting you guys up and you know you getting away from your own problems and enjoying motorcycles so i'm not going to burden you with my issues but there's been all sorts of shit going on and i've had this cold and i've just been knocked out look at this that is cool love it mate love that so how has everyone been how's everyone's christmas period i mean it's the friday today so I guess a lot of people finishing work today. I'm also finishing work, my day job, because this isn't my day job. Everyone seems to think this is my job now, but this is, it's just a hobby. So I f officially finished work today. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll say I've been sort of off sick with certain things and whatnot, but, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to a really good Christmas, just hopefully to shake off the final throes of this little cold. And then, uh, yeah, can start enjoying ourselves. So all of our groceries came today from Sainsbury's delivered 360 pounds. I mean, that is a Christmas shop. There was a few cans of beer in there, but nothing too outrageous. 360 pounds, I mean, what is going on with the price of food at the moment? I mean, how are people managing with, you know, balancing the, being able to feed their families? I mean, it's a real, concern you know i mean what were the ele you know, electric prices going through the roof gas and electric that's gone up my gas and electric is now 420 pounds a month 420 pounds a month for gas and electric i mean what is going on we normally have a, a turkey on christmas eve and then with, with some homemade chips lovely daddy's chips they're called we may even do them in beef dripping 
beef dripping this year and then obviously big Christmas dinner on the Sunday but we normally have two turkeys so that so that 320 pound gross or 360 pound grocery shop didn't even include any bloody turkey right let's find somewhere to park this bad boy and see what turkeys little has to offer now we should be able to lower the bike now to get off I think it's already as low as it goes let's go up then well the engine must be on now let's go up oh, oh the back's going up oh, and the front oh yeah she's 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 gone up by a good four inches let's take it down again to get off oh saggy saggy oh the front's dropping as well so it's front and rear front and rear up and down not just not just the rear it seems to be the front as well but anyway let's catch a turkey boom, boom, boom. Boo, doo, boo, boo. well they're sold out fresh turkeys let's check the freezers come on we're out of here we could be catching the last turkey in the shop here hello Ah, oh, ducks Oh, ducks. Oh, we got a duck and a goose. Whole goose. Oh dear. This is worrying. Maybe I'm for a duck or goose for Christmas. The little do not have any turkeys. Mm, I have to go try Sainsbury's. A big Sainsbury's over there, but I don't know if that's the same one that delivered to you. I don't know. They've got as an Asda. Let's try Asda. It's going to be a pain finding a turkey on Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> oh. oh, the other thing they do is like a Wellington, like a Wellington for Christmas Eve. We'll be going McDonald's at this rate, but a, a Wellington, you know, a nice beef Wellington. I do like a beef Wellington. <laughs> God, this thing's fast. That's not a word you're normally used to hearing, is it? GS and fast. I mean, what is the world coming to? Do you have to tell it to go lower? So I'm stopped now. Oh, it's sinking down now. Automatic, it's on automatic. So as I come to a stop, the whole bike just drops down to the floor. I don't know if I'd want that or not on my bike. Because you've got to think it's going to wear out all the servos in your suspension sort of quite prematurely, isn't it? And a lot of people moan, oh, I don't want electronic suspension, oh, but when it goes wrong. But if, if it's doing that every time you stop, it's like a lot of wear on your servos of your suspension. I sound like my dad now. That's what my dad used to say. Oh, oh, you don't want electric windows. Oh, dear, no, just something else to go wrong. You just want the winders. Oh, no, no, I don't want that, no. Oh, something else to go wrong. Oh, dear, no, no, no. <laughs> when have you ever heard? I think you used to have more problems with the little winders breaking off manual windows than you ever have any problems with electric windows. But it's just always a little bit of that mentality with new technology, isn't it? Oh, no, it'll just go wrong, cost you a fortune. Well, every time I find myself saying that, I think of my dad and his electric windows that he wouldn't have because they're just going to go wrong and cost him loads of money. And they never do. And I think it's just a thing you say when you're getting old. I think it's a nice part of life. You know you've reached middle age and beyond when you start thinking along those lines. Oh, it's just going to oh, it's just going to go wrong. Oh, something else to go wrong. <laughs> is that based on life lessons? <laughs> or is that just something to do with getting old and, and resisting new technology? Probably a mixture of the two. Oh, look at that, Renault 5 GT Turbo. What a car that, I used to have one then, black one. Brilliant car that was. I wish you didn't crash it, because it was made of tissue paper, but an absolutely brilliant fun car. Probably worth a fortune now. Come on, Asda. Give us a Christmas turkey. Oh, I'm also going on the uh, the new Super Duke launch. The, Su the new Super Duke 1390, it's also wrapped in the 1390 Super Duke on track at Almeria. Oh, how cool. Good job I know Almeria a little bit now because I did that BMW thing last year. But on track at Almeria, the 990 on some twisty Spanish uh, roads. And then uh, also the 390, some Jim Gymkhana on the 390 as well. So that will be, uh, that'll be brilliant. That, that's mid-February time. Oh, I'm not going oh, to park here been to this house doing aging. The foot's a bit better by the way for those asking, thank you very much. 
my uh, fasciitis is much, much, much better. So that's some good news. So I can walk now without limping. I had to go to the, uh, not psychiatrist, who's the other one, physiotherapist. And I've got quite high arches on my feet and she's recommended some special shoes. So I'm gonna have to buy some shoes which have got more support for high arches. And I can start my walking and stuff again. But they need a amount of breath is walking up them down the slope. Excuse me. Do you know if you've got any frozen turkey crowns left at all? I honestly don't. No, okay. Fair Up that way. All right, thank you. Oh, it's chaos. Absolute chaos. I hate people. <laughs> In here? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. Good old Asda to the rescue. We did buy fresh turkey. Every year we used to buy fresh turkeys. But they're 50 50, they'd be rotten when you open them. So now we only get uh, frozen, I only two of these, so there's between one and eight. There's only three of us. I used to work in Asda. I used to be a, a night shelf stacker. It was the worst job I've ever had. absolutely hated it. But I did it for about three weeks. And then the, uh, the worst night was you used to have to flump the bags of crisps. I was like four o'clock in the morning, flumping bags of crisps and thought, I ain't doing this. 44 pounds? Are they having a chuckle? Absolute robbery. I haven't even got any legs on it. Get sick of it, sick of it. I hate Christmas. <laughs> I think Christmas is brilliant for the kids. If you've got kids or family, it's fantastic, isn't it, Christmas? Got my presents for the kids and their little faces. I've lost my glasses now. I've lost my glasses over there. God's sake. Oh, well, there we go, guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I've got my turkeys. I've, I'm sorted for my Christmas dinner and my New Year's Eve dinner as well. So. Uh, no need, don't need to donate any turkeys to me or invite me around for Christmas lunch. I'm fully sorted. So I hope you have a good one, or I hope you've had a good one if this has come out just after Christmas. And uh, looking forward to the new year, looking forward to getting back into it again. Got to do a lot of, a lot of plans, a lot of plans for next year. It's always exciting, isn't it? Exciting new year coming and just got to get through that awful winter. Get through winter, get the spring here. Like I say, my little trip to Almeria with KTM on the, on the new Super Duke. That's going to be absolutely amazing, so I can't wait for that. And it's me. Um, well, I'm like the only sort of YouTuber going. All the rest of it is like the proper, the proper journo. So incredibly grateful to be for KTM for inviting me on that, you know, because I think Nevesy's going again, so it's always great to meet Nevesy again. Al for 44 Teeth, I think it's going, or maybe Chris will go, but 44 Teeth's going. Um, you know, all the big names. <laughs> and me! So there's going to be some quick old boys on circuit at Al Maria, and then little old me waddling round. So uh, uh, Chris Northover's probably going as well. So it'll be a really good one. I'll bring you loads of content, maybe some behind the scenes sort of stuff as well, which is always good. And uh, but have a good one, have a good Christmas, have a good new year as well. And I'll uh, see you in the new one. Take care, guys. Uh, have a good one. <laughs>